time. Yoruno Rookie. Oh, the word Rookie sounds a little bit too much uh, similar to Rusha, so... Wait, no, this is the one that sounded like Rusha, but is not actually Rusha. No, we already talked about this. Like, who, okay, who's the other one? Leah is being skinwalked. Yeah, I know that Leah was being skinwalked. Like, she has a new person now. But a lot of people were saying... Wait, so is this... Are we actually just recycling a lot of the fucking rats? Well, what do you mean? Like, we already debunked this. We already debunked that this is not Rusha. Is it... Are people actually just starting to come back to this now, or what? Okay, stream leak. Okay, okay. Where's the stream? I assume this is the stream. Oh no, she... 11 days ago, so I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna assume that she deleted it. Is this the stream? This is probably not the stream. I'll reprivate it. Okay, so if this is actually Rusha, then then she intentionally differentiated her inflections and the way she voices things to make it sound similar to her, but to make it so that the voices is not like uh, the voices is distinct enough. Because we already covered this a long time ago. That this is not Rusha. It sounds like Rusha, but the voices are too different to be actually Rusha. But... So, okay. So, okay. I'm, I'm finally understanding it now. So, a couple months ago, we looked at this, thought it was Rusha because of how similar the voices is, ultimately, ultimately concluded that it was not Rusha because there are slight differences in her intonation and some of the inflections, and... It would, it's way fucking stupid that Rusha would actually join Waktor today, despite having like a, a very successful YouTube channel outside it. So, and now, because of the recent leaks, the rat that we debunked a long time ago might now be actually true? Is that, okay, is that it, right? That's it, right? Yao, do you have it? What rats are you covering today? We're talking about the, the, the Rusha being in Waktor a bit. But have you considered that Rusha is insane? I mean, yeah, but like Wachter? Really? Like you you left V Shoujo, brother! You just left V Shoujo! Why would you join another Japanese agency? What's wrong with you? What happened? What? I don't get it! I don't get it! IDK, man, remember the mic short? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Muhammad, hell yeah. Remember the mic short when she pandered to ES fans? Oh, fuck. She might be desperate at this point. Why would she de Why would she be desperate? Okay, actually, you know what? I feel like if, it, if, if, if Rusha is involved, I have to throw away all sorts of logic and reason when it comes to all her decisions. I'm actually just going to think she's insane now. I mean, Loki always thought that she was kind of insane. Uh, well, not insane, more like dumb and stupid. Well, maybe not dumb and stupid, but ignorant. Uh, yeah, uh, something along those lines. Hold on. Why would she be desperate? She has a very successful YouTube career. She has a super successful YouTube career with viewerships and like... And a lot of whales. Why would she be... Uh, why would you... And you left and she left V Shoujo. Why would she join Waktor? Like, I don't get it. Possibly great, bro. Literally, there is nothing, nothing she is going to get from Waktor. Unless Waktor promised her something, as long as Mike gets into Waktor and streams there as a new VTuber, and she's just half assing, she's just half assing her time in Waktor, you know what? That might be a very gamer bold move, you know? Like, let's say the Waktor CEO promised her a million fucking dollars as long as she re debuts into Waktor. And, you know, Mike said that that money was too good to pass up, decided to go yes, but she just half-asses it to not break contract. If she, if that's what she did, that, that's smart. That I can understand, right? She's min-maxing it. I mean, she wasn't the psychiatrist guard, man. Yeah, that is true. Oh, thanks, Tarja. You DM'd me the leak? Okay, hold on. She promised co-ownership at that point? Oh my god, imagine though, right?
Bro, fucking, they are fast, brother. Oh no. Money for the Mafo Mafo case? Oh, I guess that would make sense, right? Yeah, if if Rusha is losing a lot of money because of the case she has against Mafo Mafo and the case she has against the people that slandered her, quote unquote slandered her, then that might be it. Bro, at this point, if this actually turns out to be true, I have fucking no idea what Waktor promised her. Because to me... Okay, so you know in my Waktor video how I mentioned that Waktor is like on... Waktor has been on red for a long time. Waktor is on the red. They're bleeding fucking money. They don't have anything right now as a company. So... To me, it feels like Waktor would not be able to offer her any sorts of financial compensation that would be able to leverage her enough to stream into into Waktor. Like, I, I just don't think that makes sense, right? But then again, I don't have all the information. I can really only make an assumption based on the information that we already know. But regardless, that's pretty fucking wild if this actually is true. Holy goddamn shit. You need to remember Mike is kind of dumb and lonely. Yeah, super dumb and lonely. I don't know, man. Fuck me. He's like the textbook of a Menhera. I want a chat. I really, really wanted to root for her. Like when she posted uh, like a year ago or something where she said that she was like, what's the term? Like she was going out there and like treating her mental health issues, seeking a therapist. And I'm like, yeah, lady, let's fucking go. Let's get better. You know, you'll be all better uh, soon. Maybe not now, but soon. It's almost sad. I don't know. I, don't, I feel bad saying that about her. But because this woman has done so much, both good and bad, but also has been through a lot, both good and bad, I don't even know if I should feel sorry for her or if I should, like, tell her off. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna... I, I, what the fuck is she gonna care if I tell her off, right? Asking the wrong question. What did Mickey Neko promise a CEO that asks sexual favors? Something she is no stranger to. Thank you, Tharja IBW. Okay, but what would the CEO... I feel like if, if we're talking about this from a transactional relationship standpoint, the CEO has to be able to offer her something substantial. Right? Yeah. Something. Because Tharja, by that logic, then that means that the CEO would have to have a dick that's so good Rusha can't Rusha actually joined Waktor because she, she wanted to keep fucking him. Which is which I don't think is the case, right? Holy fuck, no. I mean maybe, but I don't think so. That's like pretty wild and stupid. And like, come on, no. Lawyers? Desperation? Yeah, maybe lawyers. Maybe lawyers. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. At this point, it's all up to speculation, honestly. We don't fucking know. I don't want to rat too much about this because I don't have all the full information. But it is fun to speculate about it because it is Rusha. Rusha always comes in with the steel chair for quite literally everything. Yeah, this was the, this was the thing that notified people that she might be joining another agency. This one. 